eraser tool by clicking E for eraser. Um, the way that the eraser tool works is if you're on a background layer, it will essentially just paint in the background color, but I assume that's not what you're going to be using it for. Let's assume you're on a normal layer. All that you do is you quick click and drag, and it erases out that part of a layer. So let's say we were trying to remove this motorcycle right here. Uh, you can right click and it has all of the various brush options. There's nothing that different right there. Um, you can lower the opacity of it and you can actually lower the opacity for all of the different brushes just by either going up there or by doing something such as hitting 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And just by hitting those, it will change it in 10% uh, increments right there. So the eraser tool, very basic. It lets you erase. The background eraser tool, what you can do is you can hit Alt, click, and then it ass assumes that's the background, and then you go over and you can try erasing out the background. And you know what? Best of luck to you. I, uh, I never use this tool because it's awful. It just tries to guess too much and hasn't been updated in many versions because it's not the way that any professional really goes about erasing. Uh, you can change the options up here, but let's be honest, it's just you in a recipe for disaster. Um, the other thing, the magic eraser tool allows you to click sections and it will delete out those sections. And again, I would warn you against using the magic eraser tool uh, because even though it's a conceptually simple tool to understand, and, and it is, it's a very simple tool to understand, you're not gonna get great results. Like you could tweak this out a bit, maybe, I don't know, no one I know really uses it. Uh, right clicking doesn't uh, give you any extra options. That should be a red flag right there from the get go. Um, you can tweak the options by changing the tolerance, but this is the equivalent of using the wand tool and then hitting delete. And I suggest, if given the choice, it's better just use the wand tool and then hit the delete rather than trying to use this supposed magic eraser right here because it's not, it's not all that magical. It tries to make things a little bit too automatic. But this initial eraser tool, that was good. Let's stick with that. For the full four-hour Photoshop crash course, click on the link below. And to get more of the tools, just click on this link inside of the video itself. Thanks for joining.